Hi, my name is Dorothea Rosen and I'm a goldsmith in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And being a goldsmith, I am naturally also an entrepreneur in the arts. And what that means is that I wear a ton of hats, just like other entrepreneurs in other, in other fields. So for example, um, you know, a, a brand like Tiffany's has 13,000 employees and um, they all have various jobs and um, certainly even brands smaller than Tiffany's would have uh, a marketing department, a design department, you know, different kinds of um, different kinds of departments. And in my case, that's all me. I'm all the I'm all the departments. I design jewelry. I design my jewelry. I make my jewelry. Sometimes I have um, subcontractors that help, but it's mainly done all right here in my in my studio. And I also am the marketing department. And um, you know, jewelry is meant to be worn. It's meant to be on the body, and therefore we need um, photos. So today, later today, I have a photo shoot scheduled, and. Um, I wanted to just let you in on the back, a um, uh, little bit of a view of what happens, uh, what needs to happen for something like that. So just a quick, oh boy, I'm falling already. Um, so a quick, uh, you know, you may have seen these. Uh, I often have them with me at shows, my little br uh, brochures. I call them my handheld Instagram actually. And they have photos, they have what's called a, um, product photo or product photos and then they have these are called editorial photos so the editorial photos would be off jewelry on the body and that's a very challenging thing to do again a lot of the big brands will take a photo you'll you'll notice if you really look closely you'll notice that a lot of the ads for big brands would have the jewelry photoshopped in after the fact because it's very difficult to get jewelry for especially earrings to be in focus and still have the photo be a pleasing photo. Um, so I, I don't believe in that and that's um, uh, I'm very lucky in that I have the um, great expertise of a, of a wonderful local photographer named Ian Selick. He is, uh, he's really great. He's such a find and he has made these beautiful photos with me. This is from the last photo shoot and I liked them so much that I had cards made, printed locally by um, Atlantic Digital. Uh, yeah, these cards look so pretty. And this is actually, this was photographed in my neighbor's yard right across the fence I'm sitting in front of. Uh, and thanks to Isabel and Nancy for letting me shoot in their backyard. This is another one. And again, I like to work with professionals uh, so that people get compensated properly. And um, I've worked with uh, a couple of the couple of modeling agencies. I have another one uh, today. It will be City Models, a model from City Models that will come. Uh, look, this was a fun one. This was also in their garden. It's not fun. And I had some colleagues say to me afterwards, "You can't, you can't do that. People are not supposed to wear their jewelry while gardening." And I said, "People should always wear their jewelry." And then we took that same one, and Ian has this beautiful old uh, v, uh, Volkswagen van. Uh, you probably can't see this, but anyways, it's somewhere on my website. And uh, yeah, she's carrying her beat uh, to the car. Uh, so that's why it's really great for me to have photos. Oh yeah, check this one out. This is a fun one. I'm going to get, uh, after this, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get some fruits or something. This is, by the way, the... Um, Fairmind Eco Gold, which has, uh, which is traced to the source. It's small artisanal miners who have been given the opportunity to have a very clean working environment, safe, no conflict zones. And in this case, the Fairmind Eco Gold has no uh, use of mercury or um, cyanide, which is actually quite prominent in uh, in jewelry making. So let me show you what happens for me to prep for. A photo shoot is that I, oh my gosh, it's so bright out, I can't see a thing. Oh yeah. By the way, yeah, it was supposed to rain, so this is another thing. Uh, it appears that it's gonna hold off, but I don't know. We'll see. So I've arranged here uh, my shoots that I want. So here's the Flow series. 
here's the script series with the new the new script piece and this is also a new script in the in the script um, series and then of course the one for the series there's always something going on today I'm gonna be uh, I wanted to highlight that they come in these more narrow versions the three loop the four loop and the five loop and of course with gems so whatever photos I don't have yet on the body and then these guys maybe I'll just move this instead hang on this one's coming out yeah and then um, these ones you know this is basic Ooh, too close this here is the idea of a wedding and engagement ring oh, I gotta put that up a little I'm sorry I'm having technical difficulties yeah this is where I need like a an assistant so I've, I've been making um, more wedding bands lately, and I haven't really talked about these a lot, but the the wedding bands I come in different widths and quite thin ones and broader ones. But yeah, this, this idea of then having an engagement ring next to it. Sorry, my nails are so long, but they need to be so I can hold on to uh, my pieces when I file them and then my nails get shorter anyways. Um, so that's an idea or, oh, my cards are gonna go flying. Well, this one just to pair them up and then it depends a little bit on the ring size of the model and which of these pieces will fit but sorry about that i thought i'd do not disturb on um yeah so and then with this i think i'm going to put some um knot earrings so i have these laid out and then the the one footer necklace that I don't have in any of my in any photos or anything on a, an, on a gold chain, so I thought I'd have the model probably wear that. Uh, I might do the knot series. We'll see. I do have some photos from that last shot. You just saw them with this ring on, um, but I don't think I have this one. Uh, I'm very uh, and and probably the pearls. I don't know yet. These pearls. I don't know yet. But definitely, definitely, I want to shoot this one because I'm so excited about it. This is that flow, eco fairmine flow ring um, that I stuck a diamond on. And I can't wait to have that on a, on a finger and, and photograph it. And, and e the, this pendant also I don't have, um, nor do I have, I think, these ones. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing and now this whole thing is falling apart um i work with the photos very similarly to how i work with um my design which is that i just start working with it and then and then i just see what happens and then let the uh, moment guide me and luckily ian is is that way too so it's really great to work with him i look forward to doing that later today and it'll take a long time by the time those photos actually make it out. So you'll have to be very patient. But uh, keep your fingers crossed for me that the weather will cooperate. And uh, thanks for being here. I'll see you later.